All right, so a lot of smartphones came out in 2019. Some of them were awesome, some of them were less so, but I wanted to do a video that focused on what I felt were the most important phones that came out this year. So not like the best features, not my personal favorites, but phones that I think were important and influential in the market space, both for this year as well as going forward. Uh, so the first phone I wanna talk about is the Samsung Galaxy Fold. This was a phone that launched in the spring of 2019, and it was a device that drew a lot of attention to the folding screen technology. It was the world's first kind of brand name phone that had a screen that could be bent in half. And even people that weren't interested in phones at all were interested in the Galaxy Fold because it did something new. It did something that was so refreshing and different in the smartphone market. But the launch was rough. There were issues with the screen and there were issues with the hinge in terms of its durability. And it felt like they launched this product a little bit too early, as if they rushed this product to market to try to beat competitors. And because of that rougher launch, it feels like it poisoned or tainted the idea of what folding phones were all about. Because for a lot of people, that initial impression was not great. But it turns out, months later, once they'd fixed it and once they tweaked it, this phone is very good for a first-gen foldable. And people are clearly interested in this product. People are interested in folding screens, and it's largely in part to this phone. Okay, uh, the second kind of important and influential phone I'd say this year was the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. This phone was the first Samsung flagship to get rid of the headphone jack. Now Samsung released a lot of phones this year and they showcased their new hole punched OLED screens which were really cool in their own right, but the removal of the headphone jack on the Note 10 was in my opinion the most important and most influential thing that they did this year. By removing it from the Note as well as the upcoming S11 next year, I really feel like it marked the end of the headphone jack. The only way to get jacks at this point is to go with brands that are less popular or with mid-tier phones. It's like that's it, headphone jack is done. Um, okay, now to me, the most important phone from this year was actually the Pixel 3a. This was a device that launched at $400 and they designed this phone to be different from every other smartphone at the $400 price point because these guys focus on having a good camera, like a really good camera, while still being a very affordable $400 phone. So all the other things like the specs and the build materials and like all the stuff that really doesn't matter too much to the end user, they skimped on it, but they focused on having a really good camera and a really good price. And that feature of a great price with a great camera was something that no one else did before. And because of this, because of the existence of the Pixel 3a, they saw a big jump in their US sales figures, something that none of the Pixel devices had been able to do before. And so I think Google realized the importance of pricing when it came to the Pixel brand. And then they launched the Pixel 4, a device that I'm assuming isn't gonna sell nearly as well as they had hoped or had anticipated. And I think the combination of these two phones, like a super expensive phone that just didn't move as well as they would hoped, and then a cheap phone that just sold like gangbusters, I think Google learns from this. I think Google sees this and says, people really care about things that actually matter. And I think next year when we see the Pixel 4a and the Pixel 5, I think the pricing and kind of effects of the Pixel 3a are gonna play into that quite nicely. And I think this phone also affected the pricing on this phone, the iPhone 11. They priced this phone at $699, which was $50 cheaper than what they launched the previous generation of this phone. It is so unlike Apple, so uncharacteristic of Apple to drop the price of anything, let alone one of their best selling products. So I think they did this because of market pressure, because of companies like Pixel making phones like the Pixel 3a, which were really, really well valued at $400, and then it affects stuff like that. So to me, Pixel 3a, one of like one of the best phones that you could get for 400 bucks, but beyond that, just super influential and super important in our industry because we are surrounded by so many super expensive smartphones. And to have an option like this, I think this plants the seed in our industry of like, this is the stuff people want. Cheap phones with one or two features that are really important that people actually care about. And this guy, led the charge. Okay, these are the phones that I think are most important from 2019. What do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Are there other phones that you think are kind of more influential than these ones? Let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. See you guys next time.